Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to wind your bobbin thread on your bobbin on your console 206 RV-5 sewing industrial sewing machine. It's a pretty easy task, but if it's your first time or you're just beginning, it could be difficult to figure out. Uh, you start out with your M style bobbin, which is a bigger style bobbin. With this machine, you're going to be able to thread a bobbin while you continue to sew also. Okay, you'll grab your thread off your spool from your thread stand. You're going to slide it in between these tension discs here and put it through this eye hole just like this here. Okay, what you'll do next is you'll grab your bobbin, you'll grab the thread that's in between the tension discs and the eyelet. I wind it around here about five times and then I feed the thread through one of the eyelets on the bobbin. I slide it on here after that you grab the end of the thread and with the foot pedal you want to press on this foot pedal when you start winding your bobbin you push down and it'll slowly or it'll wind as slow or as fast as you want to go After you have some turns on, on there, you can cut this part off. And keep going from there. Towards the end of this, it'll actually stop itself like that. And you have a full bobbin. Just cut that off. And there you go. If you're ever trying to wind a bobbin and you have your bobbin on here and the stem here is spinning but the bobbin is kind of spinning or not spinning completely with it, sometimes this right here either gets bent in so it's not pressing up against your bobbin here what you can do here is grab a screwdriver or something to pry this out a little where it's uh, got this gap it'll pry out your stem that way it'll fit more snug on here and it'll get traction to to line your bobbin better when I'm not sewing and I'm just winding a bobbin I usually take out my bobbin case and I take the thread out of the needle 